Hello, friends. My name is Swami, also known as Bruce P. Grether, and this is my dear friend Nimbas. We are coming to you today to talk about who knows what. We're going to discuss a little bit my new book, The Nine Realities of Stardust, A Guide to Being Human in the Universe, and who knows where that will lead because this book is kind of about the universe and the stars and the stardust that we're made out of. So anyway, without any further ado, uh, here is my friend Nimbas. I'll let him introduce himself and say whatever he wants to say. He of the beautiful heather green sweater. Oh, stop it. <laughs> uh, hi, kids. I'm Nimbas. We're here to get your freak on, talk about the DNA of DNA. So, and the nine realities of stardust, uh, of which, uh, where is it here? Here's, nope, that ain't the one. Huh. There we are. That's what you get yes. for covering all your books, huh? With Here's my copy. I'm so right honored. Here. Nimbos has covered his copy of Nine Realities with, with uh, old tablecloth material, which is how he honors books that he uh, wants to protect. And, uh, okay then. Yep. Yep. Okay then. So, so what is your first question today? Me? Mm hmm. Oh, you caught me. Yes, this is an interview. With my pants down. Oh, uh -oh what's oh, the nine no, realities don't. of stardust? Better what be, are the nine realities that, of stardust? Keep that, uh, keep that, <laughs> that uh, camera facing up if you don't have your pants on. Anyway, oh, um, oh, yeah, there's nothing to see. You said <laughs> you just float above the ground, right? You never touch it because that's there's right. Nothing I below have the waist. no body from the neck down. No, nothing below the waist. Well, that's right. Oh, below the neck, huh? So below that, the neck. So this that's is right. just a there's just an inflatable form inside of that. That's right. That <laughs> it's an illusion. <laughs> Simulates about. Now this is. Wait a second. Your first question was going to be, what is the DNA of DNA? And I just not, asked it. No, you said, what are the nine realities of stardust? You blew it. Oh, oh, I'm spaced out. That's right. What is the DNA of DNA? Sorry. It's stardust. Now think about that statement a minute. What is the DNA of DNA? Okay, in that little statement, the word DNA is being used two very different ways. Okay, one is literally deoxyribonucleic acid. Okay, DNA which is the language in which all living things are written, right? On right. Earth. All biological life on Earth is written in the, the language of DNA. But DNA in that sense is, sentence is also being used in the, in, the, in the first sentence to mean uh, what is the language itself. In other words, what is the language of DNA? So when you say, what is the DNA of DNA? In my view, the answer is stardust. In other words... I think we need to talk about what stardust is then. Yes, yes we do, we do. Stardust is the complex atoms that did not exist after the Big Bang until the first generations of stars were born and died and exploded and, and created these complex atoms. What atoms are they? They are the more complex atoms beyond the the simplest atoms that came right out of the Big Bang, which are very Hydrogen. simple, and helium, right, and a little bit of deuterium, which is an ion. Don't worry about what an ion is for now. That's a little bit more complicated idea. I have to ion my clothes. <laughs> you got it. Yeah, that's right. Anyway, you, it's an yes. old-fashioned ion that has coals in it, you know. That, Drop it. All right. Back to the subject. Do you remember those kind of ions? And then the, there's a little bit of, of lithium. These are actually the simplest atoms that, that uh, when, when it was still really, really intense and really, really hot after the Big Bang, these could form uh, because they were the simplest and they didn't have a lot of little fragile parts that get blown apart. Ah. And so, so finally, when mostly hydrogen, a lot of hydrogen. Uh, I love hydrogen. Yeah, it developed in, just in the blink of an eye in cosmic terms about possibly 400 million years after the Big Bang. The first 
massive enough amounts of, of, of hydrogen were present that it started to exert gravity. You know, it was, it was matter, and, and gravity is a function of, of matter that uh, it started to kind of attract itself and attract into clumps and clumps, and these got denser until finally there was this amazing pressure at certain little points that collapsed in, and, and it triggered what we call nuclear fusion. And this is basically a, a controlled hydrogen bomb is what it is. And we call this a star, and there were different species of stars depending on their size and intensity and the heat and so forth. Uh, the biggest stars would live maybe only a number of millions of years, and, and, and the smaller stars could live ultimately a lot longer. Even up. I think so, smaller, cooler stars do last a lot longer. Some of them may last trillions of years, is what yeah, I understand. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. So, but th the really important thing here is that some of those really big stars, uh, that they didn't really live all that long, but they were huge. And at the last minute, as they were dying, they would collapse. And in their center, there there was a huge amount of pressure that all these simpler uh, atoms, like the hydrogen and helium and so forth, were collapsed together and and forced into uh, these more complex atoms that have a whole lot of different particles in their nucleus unlike hydrogen is the simplest and it's just got a proton and a neutron in the in the, the nucleus and then it has one electron around it real simple instead these were these for the first time there's complicated things like carbon and and nitrogen and iron and sulfur and calcium this is what we call stardust they're more complex atoms, and our existence depends on the fact that we're made out of 90% stardust by mass. Does that begin to answer your question? It just begins. I have another question, though. Yes. What's the matter? What is the I'm matter? I'm only kidding. That's a, that's a wise guy question. Yes, but you are sort of a wise guy. Uh, yeah, you got boss. that right. I, you know, yeah, you know <laughs> this I have noticed. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> this, this has not escaped my notice. And this uh, did not help my academic career no. back in the day. No, Asking no questions doubt. like that yes. to the teacher. But anyway, wisdom is not always the most valued commodity in the academic world. Uh, intellect is perhaps overvalued. Do we agree? Well, maybe. Yeah. So anyway, any more questions about the nine realities of stardust? Oh, you tell you're putting me. Uh, let's see. I'll uh, open it. Uh, uh, you're unprepared. You don't have your the notes. Common belief systems that separate matter from spirit, that suggest matter is inferior, gross, even evil, in contrast with spirit, as something superior, exalted, innately virtuous, reflect such belief systems as the ancient Manichaean religion. Now, I just opened to page 52 in mm -hmm. our book, mm -hmm. and I came to that sentence. And mm -hmm. I have spent most of my life mm -hmm. unlearning that philosophy. That yes. That's what we're, your book, your book unteaches Manichaeanism, Actually, I don't want to get controversial, and our time is almost up, but it is at the basis of the anti-sexual bias yep. of Western religion, and yes. et cetera. You know, so that's Absolutely. what the matter is. Okay, yeah. I answered my own question. The matter is that matter and spirit are viewed as separate things that Correct. might even be they, in conflict like oh my gosh they can't, right. they can't get along <gasps> what do you what do you want to call them i think our time's up there, yeah we've got uh, nope. so at, we must be disciplined we're at 10 more seconds so anyway we better say goodbye until the next time right goodbye kids bye bye it's been fun go outside and play now it's been really stay off, fun stay out of the traffic that's bye. right get off of your high-tech instruments and be a, yes, a, a absolutely. Real organism, you know. Focus on your breathing and maybe have sex. That might be a good thing. Yeah, probably a okay. good thing usually. Okay. 
now we're a little running a little over time but that's okay we can do that it's at 10 minutes and 20 seconds but bye bye until next time nimba my friend and what was my name again bruce p grether that's and right i'm nimbus mm -hmm. I, ah. I think we got it we got it okay yeah all right now we know who we are <laughs>